some of, here's some of the clearing that I was doing in the garden yesterday. I'm putting all these sticks and brush to make a reinforcement of the chicken fence where a couple of winters ago a massive tree smashed into it and it's been too difficult ground to clear it. Hello. And we've got all these branches here to do something about so I'm going to drag those into there, weave them into the fence. So I've got a cup of birch sap. It's pretty good. Tastes uh, sort of sweet, watery, very cool and fresh and sweet and uh, organic. We call it Ent juice. Gives you special powers. So you know when you're planning who's going to be in your post-apocalyptic team? Because everyone does that, right? That's the thing. Because we were always... Uh... Hello, Tom Chippy. Tom Chippy Totex is his full name. We were always uh, thinking about this community and, okay, we would, uh, who do we want on our team? We need somebody with engineering skills, somebody with mechanical skills, somebody with building skills, uh, healing, medicinal caring skills, a forager, a hunter, someone with a gun and butchery skills, somebody who's good at growing stuff. All of those kind of skills and you think, oh yeah, they can be on our team, they're cool. And this uh, pandemic's making me revise my ideas about that. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. He wants to be on our team. He's a cool guy. And suddenly I'm realising it's not the skills that you need. It's uh, the people who are decent. Because uh, there's people out there. I mean, there's people in this community that you always know that you just don't get involved with. Um, but now what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of people's real natures. And you need somebody who can get on with others, regardless of politics or... Which is a difficult one for me. You know, if somebody reads the Daily Mail, I don't really want to hang out with them. But what we're seeing is there's folks being negative and lashing out and blaming each other and all piling on about uh, this person should do this and that, which is true, you know, there's people being idiots. But the people that I would like on my apocalyptic team are those that just get on with the job, those that are currently organising to help people and um, doing so calmly, with grace and unconditional kindness just how do we help each other how do we support each other let's focus on the positive the people who are moan and carp and are angry and blaming others they're not going to be much use they're not the ones who are going to get us through this look at this is tom's beard it's pretty fabulous isn't it Lobo, what do you think of the lockdown today? I see you're sitting by the door. What could it be that you're wanting? Is it that you want more than one walk a day? Do you like to go out? Oh dear. Clearing a path through the jungle at the bottom of the garden and uh, look at this. I can't focus on it but it's some sort of little flower head or seed head. It's pretty amazing. And while I was uh, cutting and uh, hauling things around in the hedgerow, my head was a busy having arguments with idiots on the internet. 
And that's why social media can be so toxic and horrible. So I'm taking 10 minutes out now just to sit in the peace and quiet and listen to the bird song and get all that rubbish out of my head. Uh, it's a fight or flight response when you're hyper vigilant and have had a lot of trauma in your life. You tend to always be looking for where the next attack's coming from and perceiving attacks when there aren't even any. So that's why limiting internet time is good. So, uh, listen to those birds. And here comes my trusty companion, exploring the new path I've made. I'd like to see any chickens or zombie hordes get through that lot. Poor Pancho, he keeps being sick. He's not a happy boy. First I thought it was uh, stress. We fired up the chainsaw and uh, he didn't like that. He was really upset by that. And um, But he just keeps being sick. So hopefully he's going to be all right. Maybe he's just eating something stupid in the garden. He keeps eating chicken poo. Yuck. And Andrew's not feeling very well either. It's just uh, usual hay fever kind of stuff from when he was outside. It's given him sort of sinuses and a headache because uh, the pollen's out. But uh, we did a lot of good stuff in the garden. And uh, yeah. So that's us done a week of lockdown. And uh, it's been a hard one for everyone. Whilst we can all think of the advantages and it's nice to hear the bird song and everything's quiet. I know it's been a struggle. There's a lot of negativity and difficulties and everyone's tired and discombobulated and a lot of people are feeling cabin fever and understandably and I know how lucky I am to have a jungle at the bottom of the garden to disappear into. So I hope you're all well and hanging in there and keep up the positive stuff and keep trying to find some fun and goodness in the situation and we'll get through it together by being kind and nice to each other and not by giving in to anger and uh, fear.